back to my channel. My name is Christina Alaboto. I'm back YouTube. How many times have I said that to you all? I am back. I am back. I am back. I've said it so many times, but you know what? I like to make videos when I feel inspired and when I have time, which is so hard. And right now I feel so inspired to make this Broadway show shoe video where I show you all of my Broadway shoes. This is Broadway show shoes that I got to keep from my shows. Mean Girls Edition. Y'all, I did a TikTok where I talked about the fact that in Broadway shows, we get to keep a lot of our shoes. Because of our union rules, we can't really like wear other people's shoes. It's very specific. And so usually after a show closes or when you're done, you get to keep quite a few of your shoes. Now that doesn't mean every company and every type of shoe. Like for instance, I didn't get to keep my Santa boots in Mean Girls because those were very specific shoes, but I got to keep all of these street shoes that were my shoes. So I'm gonna go through all the shoes and talk about them and tell you stories. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this Broadway show shoes, Gretchen Wieners, Mean Girls version. Hey, those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Christina Alabato. I'm a Broadway actor. I do television and film and voice acting. I played Gretchen Wieners and Mean Girls on Broadway in, um, I was, the first replacement, so I replaced Ashley Park and I did the show for the first year. I had just signed on to do a second year and then the pandemic happened. So I played Gretchen Wieners for a year and some change. And it was like the greatest year of my life. I had so much fun and I'm so excited to show you all of my shoes from when I played Gretchen. So here we go, we'll go in order. So again, what I kind of said on my TikTok was when it comes to show shoes and um, keeping all of them, the reason we get to keep them is actors are a part of a union for stage actors called Actors' Equity Association. And within that rule book, there is a rule about shoes and that when you join a company, you are the producers are required to give you new shoes if the shoes are... There's like specific verbiage, but it's like if they're modern or contemporary shoes or dance shoes, they have to be new for you. So you can't, so for instance, like I couldn't have worn Ashley Park's shoes. That wouldn't legally have been allowed because they needed to be new for me, which is why a lot of the time we get to keep our shoes. Sometimes you don't when the show is like closing and gonna go non-equity. So they like take everything and non, the non-union tours for the actors don't have um, specific rules in place. So like, for instance, they could possibly wear my shoes if it was safe. I'm sure those tours also try to keep their actors safe. So, but really it's about sanitary and safety conditions with shoes because we're slamming in them and they have to be specific for our feet and also just a sanitary thing. Now costumes are totally different. Costumes you never get to keep or very, very rarely and they are constantly passed around. I've worn costume pieces of so many different peoples over the years. It's kind of fun to look at the little tag in the back and be like, oh my God, this was so so-and-so's, this is so cool. Um, but for shoes, it's pretty rare unless it's a super custom shoe um, or a custom dance shoe. Uh, those I think are able to be passed around. But for the most part, the shoes cannot be reused or repurposed for another cast member. So you either get to keep them or they sell and package them for whatever deal they're doing. So these are my shoes. So let's talk about them. Um, let's start in order. So I kept all of my, um, when the show was closing, so when closing happened, we were able to go pick up all our stuff and I was able to keep as many pairs of my Gretchen Wiener shoes as I wanted to, um, other than the Santa boots. And with the exception of two pairs of shoes, I kept everything else. The shoes I didn't keep were my Halloween shoes because they were so high and there was no reason in any world that I would ever wear those. And they were also just black shoes. I didn't find them to be like super Gretchen specific, so I didn't keep my Halloween shoes. And then my shoes for a candy Candy cane. They were these really, really cute, I'll put a picture of them right here, like pointy toed, like they were in the shape of a heart and the back of them had a newspaper, like it looked like newspaper. It was so cute, but they hurt my feet so bad that I was like, there's no world where I will ever wear these. And also like my bag was full. So I was like, I'm gonna keep those. So other than those two shoes, I kept everything else. So let's talk about them in order. I'm so excited. Okay, so first pair of shoes are my Meet the Plastic shoes. So these are my Meet the Plastic shoes. Let me cover my face, here we go. They're so cute. So these are, what brand are these? These are BCBG. So every pair of shoes that you'll see has our name and what they were, right? So these say Christina Alabato, Meet the Plastics. Now these were not my original Meet the Plastic shoes. I'm actually gonna get a little closer to you so you can see these back. Yeah, so these were not my original Meet the Plastic shoes. My original Meet the Plastic shoes were the same ones that Ashley wore. They were these like really cute, like shiny. They like reminded me of Barbie, um, Katy Perry, like pointy toe heels. They were so cute. But halfway through my run, they started hurting my feet so bad. I was like, y'all, I really need a different pair of shoes for Meet the Plastics. It's like, 
it, they were killing my feet. They were like po so pointy that it didn't work for my foot. So they got me these really, really cute. I love them. They're like little daisies. They're adorable. Obsessed with them. So these were my second Meet the Plastic shoes. And I didn't keep the Katy Perry ones, even though I still had them because I was like, these hurt my feet so bad. There's no point. Um, but these are them. So every show shoe also it gets rubbered in the bottom. So as you can see, like this is not the original basically like bottom of the shoe, um, but they rubber them because especially with street shoes, these are really, this is really slippery material and we need to make sure that they're really sound for us to dance in and to walk in without slipping. So these are my Meet the Plastic shoes. They're so cute. So those are Meet the Plastics. Next up we have the iconic Gretchen Wieners boots. Oh my God, these are for Lunch with the Plastics and Pink Day. And these were absolutely iconic Gretchen. I loved these boots so much. On the inside, you can see it says, I don't know if you can see Christina Alvado, Lunch with the Plastics. Um, but these were so cute. But let's take like a closer look at these shoes. What's crazy about show shoes, especially when you're in a show that wears um, contemporary shoes. So these are like literally real serious stilettos. These are not dance shoes. These were not made for the show. These were purchased for the show. Um, also shout out to Greg Barnes, our costume designer. He like picked the cutest stuff ever. But um, yeah, so these are just purchased shoes. So because of that, they go through a ton of wear and tear. So let's look at these closer. So my dresser, Marianne, had to literally patch these up over and over again. As you can see like here, like she has stitching everywhere to try to hold them together, like insanity. I mean, look at that. Look at how like awful that looks because they kept ripping and this side is as bad. Like look at the side there. But the thing was, what happened was, is that these shoes in this color, this exact boot, the color was discontinued. So when they started breaking, the option was either to have the gold version of this, which I was like, oh my God, no, it's pink day. I have to have the pink ones or to keep patching them up. So halfway through, we finally had to go with the gold version, but they kept these pink ones because I wanted to keep them. And also like, they're just so iconic. So for photo shoots or for whatever, I would wear these pink ones. But on stage, actually halfway through the run, I wore these gold ones. They were the same boot, but in gold or rose gold because they discontinued this pink suede color, which was so sad. But so this is kind of like the last, I think this is like the last um, iconic, like original Gretchen Wiener boot because I think that the rest of the Gretchens had to get the gold ones because they didn't exist anymore. But again, so cute, um, so destroyed. Like, look at that. Isn't that insane? Um, but really, really cute. So I had like these toe grips here to help me. So like, again, we kind of make them all work. And then for the stilettos, if we wear stilettos on stage, these little caps are really helpful so that like we don't go through the grates and stuff. So I have caps on both sides, but these are my Meet the Plastics boots. Oh, I love them. This makes me miss Gretchen the most. This to me is like iconic Gretchen. Next up we have, I'm like looking at this Broadway box did an article about me in all of my costumes so I can like follow along to see like which shoe was next. So next was Halloween, which I did not keep those shoes. Um, and then we had the candy cane look with like the little cherry sweater. So cute. I did not keep those shoes. Then we had rock around the pole. I didn't keep those. So next up is fearless. The one sneaker Gretchen got to wear in the show for fearless. I think Karen wears a sneaker in this one too. Um, I'll show you my little name. Christina Alabado fearless. Woohoo. Um, these are actually my second fearless boots. The first ones I completely ran into the ground. Um, just with the amount of dancing I had to do in fearless, but I thought these were so cute. I love a heeled like wedge sneaker. So freaking cute. Um, ow, why is this not working? So yes. So these were my little, my little Gretchen Wieners, um, fearless booties. They were so cute. Fearless was always so fun for me. You know, that was the dance call that I had to do as Gretchen. And I was always so nervous because I'm a dancer, but like I, it takes me time. So shout out to my dancers out there that need time. And I just remember doing that dance call and being like, I'm not going to get any of these steps right, but I'm going to have so much fun because that's what Gretchen would do. And then I booked it. So these are my fearless shoes. And I was very proud of myself because I feel like that dance break was hard for me as someone that again, is not like a dancer. Um, but I always had the most fun ever. So my fearless shoes. So cute. Next up is top of act two. Now this is where we start to have some fun. So we, Gretchen got two, we had two pairs of Kate Spade shoes um, that were so like to me the most Gretchen ever. So this is what we started the act in. This is labeled as mean reprise, but I wore these through um, Froyo and through What's Wrong With Me reprise. But these are my top of act two. And these are like little, they're like almost like little cars. They're Kate Spade. They're so adorable. Um, like truly obsessed. I loved these so much. Like 
look at how cute that wedge is. And they have like little um, details on the sides here, but these were always one of my favorite pairs of shoes. I thought they were so Gretchen. I thought they were so mean girls um, and so much fun. Again, rubbered on the bottom. Uh, and yeah, these stayed with me the whole time. This was like the original pair. This I wore the whole time, but they're so cute. Like they're so cute. Look at like the little license plate on the back. So adorable. So those are those. And then next up we had, oh, Who's House. So these are my Who's House shoes. I love them so much. They're so freaking extra. These are my Who's House boots that went with my full jean, um, like romper suit. So hilariously enough, like this is what they are. Let's see on the inside. They say, yes, Christina Alamato Who's House. Now Ashley wore a pair of sparkly versions of this, but they hurt my toe on the end so bad that I was like, you know what? Let's just go jean on jean. That feels like really right for her. Um, so we have a little um, Margie on my dresser out of the little Velcro here. So these would stay closed. They are rubbered and they took me a while to break them in. But once I did, so cute, like so much fun. Okay, now we get to my favorite pair of shoes. My absolute favorite pair of shoes. These were for World Burn and the bleacher scene. Oh my God. These are Kate Spade taco truck wedges. The way that I am obsessed with these shoes, I will show you close up in a second. So these were World Burn, Christina Lotto World Burn. Um, but please look at how cute these are. Okay, so they are taco trucks. You can see it says taco trio, margarita, zesty nacho. It has like hot sauces all around. It goes around to the back. And then it comes around this way. It's so like everything I've ever wanted in a shoe in Mean Girls the Musical. Like truly obsessed with them. They were my favorite shoe ever. Um, and I just loved these. And I also loved this scene. It was always so funny. And me and Kate would always be like, oh my God, we're going to like crack each other up on the stage. It was so fun. A little cool like Broadway thing. So this is called quick rigging. So when you have to do a quick change, which we did have in these ones, um, your dresser, so my dresser, Margie Ann, basically she adjusts the shoe so that it can be quickly on and off, but securely on my foot. So what happens is, is they, you buckle, the dresser buckles the shoe and then you like disconnect it from over here, add this piece of elastic and this piece of plastic. So then when you're buckling the shoe, instead of having to buckle it, you just boop and then it's done. And then you take it out and you're like, boop, it's off. So that's quick rigging. I have both quick rigged taco truck world burn shoes. So freaking amazing. And last but not least, now these are so, these are so disgusting because like I wore them so into the ground and we had to dance really hard in this, but these are my spring fling shoes. They are so cute. These are um, Jimmy Choo's OMG, like unbelievable. Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo shoes. Um, I love the color. I thought they were adorable. They also were my lowest heel in the show. And I was always so grateful that spring fling got to be me a little bit closer to the ground. Um, but these are my spring fling shoes. I mean, look at how, like, look at how used and worn those are. I mean, it just goes to show like we really are dancing hard in these. And that's why street shoes can be complicated in Broadway shows because you're wearing them like they're not supposed to be worn. Jimmy Choo's should not be worn this way, but we danced in spring fling in them and these I had the whole time. So we never had to replace these, which was nice because I'd rather not have to. Um, they're rubbered on the bottom and they're also quick rigged like we just talked about. So those are my Jimmy Choo's. But these are all my, so those are all my um, Gretchen Meter shoes. It was just like the best time of my life, like being in this show. Um, and you know, I keep all my shoes because they're great memories. In the end, I'm like, you know, which of these am I gonna wear? Like, it, you kind of like ask yourself that, but I always think about like auctioning them off for Broadway Cares one day if I feel like I'm not wearing them. But some of them, like, I will never get rid of these. These are like a, scent, a memory that I would wanna have forever because these are so Gretchen to me. These are like iconic Gretchen. Um, but you know, I like to keep them and also like I wear, like I wore these to an event one time. So like I wear some of them, but it's just good memories. And especially Mean Girls, it was so shoe centric. Like there are other sh shows where I didn't keep my shoes because why would I? Um, like, especially if they weren't applicable to my life, like at all. But these were just like super, it was just it, Gretchen Wiener shoes. Why would I not keep all of them? So, so yeah, those are my Gretchen Wiener shoes. Thanks y'all for watching. I'm going to do uh, a little video about my American Idiot shoes. I don't have them all, but I have a couple pairs that I'll share with you. Um, let me know what other content you want to see on this channel. Also follow me on TikTok. I do a bunch of stuff over there. I'm trying to do both platforms, trying to find a balance. It's tricky, but um, for now, go follow me on TikTok. 
like and subscribe to this channel. Send this to your friends. Let me know what you would like to see on this channel moving forward. I was thinking about doing like a Gretchen Wieners makeup tutorial because I have all of my Gretchen makeup and I can show you exactly what I used to do on stage. Um, it was so long ago, but I really do think of Mean Girls so fondly. Um, but let me know what other Broadway stuff you want to see. Like, subscribe to this channel. Send it to your friends. Happy Pink Day. Gretchen Wieners signing off. Bye.